Okay, doctor, uh, on another topic, a uh, disease that uh, many of us have heard of but haven't heard about as a threat in the state of Florida, leprosy. How is that a concern recently? Well, it's a concern because we're seeing an uptick in cases uh, in the United States, in Europe, uh, and uh, and in uh, some other parts of uh, the Middle East. Uh, we are seeing an, in, an increase in leprosy cases. Now, the, the problem here in the United States is partly because of people coming with uh, leprosy from other places, so immigrants can bring the uh, infection. Uh, and secondly, the, the problem is the armadillos that uh, acquired leprosy many, many, many years ago, back when we had a leprosy colony in Carville, uh, Louisiana, and those armadillos have slowly moved, uh, well, they spread all over Texas and Louisiana, and then they've come over to Central Florida, and so we're seeing cases there as well. But it's not just armadillos, it's also imported, not just imported, cases, but uh, imported contagion, and so that you acquire it from somebody um, that that came with it from another place. Now, I, I think to settle people's minds, most human beings, uh, about 90% of us, have no risk of getting leprosy, even when we're exposed, because we are, we tend to be naturally immune, wow. most of us. That's it's good only to about know. It's only about 10% of people that can get leprosy, and then it's a whole spectrum of how disease may manifest. Okay, Dr. Eileen Marty, thank you very much for joining us this evening. Thank you. Thank you.